Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. How are we doing, people? It's Cheech from Fly Fish Food. And as you may have seen lately, we're kind of on a carp kick. Um, well, uh, we were fishing, a, you know, pretty well-known carp water. And I didn't really have a ton of carp-specific flies done, but I had some kind of micro streamers. And uh, I ended up tying this fly on, and it caught probably 90% of the fish that we caught on this trip. So if it wasn't a carp fly, it is now. So I've slightly modified the hook. I like this hook because it's a little bit more beefy than what we were using. Um, so this is a, a Daiichi, which one is this? 2546 in size 4. Um, you could also tie this one on on a hook like an intruder hook 2557 and also and this is probably one of my favorite carp hooks is the Gamakatsu SL45 this is made for bonefish and if you've fished for carp and for bonefish you know that they're very very similar techniques anyway I've got some Danville 140 thread in black and I'm going to take these hairline double pupil eyes in extra small. And I'm just going to kind of place those just with a little bit of room between the eyes and the front of the hook. So that I can uh, tie off a, a zonker strip right there. But anyway, I'm going to tie those in pretty, pretty gnarly like. And one thing that I realized, you know, we've used a lot of different eye or eyes, and these double pupil eyes, the paint job on them is really, really durable. I mean, uh, I was beating it up pretty bad, and we we didn't even chip any of the paint off of it. So, uh, kudos to you, Hairline, for creating a durable eye. Um, so this is a a really simple fly. Basically, two materials. Um, but one of the materials, which is a pulsator, pulsator rabbit strip is kind of used in a different way than it was intended. Um, the body on this is going to be real simple. I'm going to use some hairy eye stub from hairline and I'll make a loop. So I've got my uh, Stonfo Elite Roto Twister. It's a pretty sweet tool. You've probably seen us use it a whole bunch. And then I'm using like a tannish creamish color, which is just natural hair's ear. And this is a cool dubbing because it's natural fibers mixed with ice dub. A lot of people say, you know, for carp, don't use flash. But, uh, you know... Even though this had a pretty, pretty flashy chartreuse and black eye and this uh, hairy eye stub, they still ate it just fine. So I've got that twisted up. I'll just wrap that forward and it can look a little unruly right now. Um, at the very end, I'm going to take this very last bit and pull it up through the eyes and that'll cover up that thread in between the eyes oh, I, I gauged that dubbing perfect perfectly so I'm going to come in here and brush it out this this dubbing is going to move a whole bunch so that's kind of why we chose it okay so on this fly, I'm using the uh, Micro Pulsator Slip in Black Bard Olive Variant. So the thing about this, uh, this material is it's still, you know, normal length rabbit. It's about three quarters of an inch long in the fibers, but the leather strip is really thin. So I'm actually going to make a pretty short fly. 
So when you're measuring how long you want this to be, I'm just going to have the leather come, you know, maybe half inch, three quarters of an inch off of the back of the, the bend of the hook. Because if you think about it, then you've got another three quarters of an inch of hair that, that extends past that. You'll kind of see what I'm talking about as I tie this in. Okay, so I've got my, my strip cut. And I'm going to kind of lay this with my the zonker strip so that it extends about to the eyes and mark with my thumb about the spot where the, the hook shank will be. It's kind of hard to show you. And then you take that little section and you poke the hook through it. So I'm going to take it out of the vise, move the hide down, and then just reattach it in the vise. And then the easiest way to tie it down is just grab some of these fibers off of the, the rabbit strip. And I know I said I covered up the bottom of the, the barbell eyes. I'm actually going to do something different. I, for, I forgot what fly I was tying. Okay, so I'm going to cut that off. And so we've got basically just a kind of like the L Sculpito, just a little zonker strip covering up some dubbing. And now to make the head, I'm going to stick some of this, uh, this pulsator strip in a dubbing loop. So it's not going to be a huge dubbing loop, and it's okay if you if you start the dubbing loop in front of the eyes. That way, when you twist it up, it's not going to grab any of the materials back here and, and catch it. So I'll take the dubbing twister and kind of let it just rest there. Okay, for the head on this fly, I'm actually going to take some of the zonker strip and take one of these pedigene tools and just clamp down on the, the rabbit hair. And I'm gonna pull it out just a tiny bit because I don't wanna use the full length of the rabbit. So we've got our rabbit cut off about right, right there. And I'm just gonna stick that in the loop. And as I pull this out, it's gonna grab right onto that rabbit. So there it's in the, the loop, just like that. And that's that's about right. And it's okay if you leave a little bit of the butt ends on there, just like that, because it's going to just create a little tiny bit of bulk. And then as I start to twist this up, I'm going to give it a few twists by and, and hold it at the bottom of the loop like I am here, and then gradually let off of that. So if you do it slow the first time, you won't have any fibers um, fall out. And you really don't need a whole bunch of twists. I'm starting to get a few hairs that are getting bound down, so I'm just going to brush those out real quick. Just a few light picks, and you've you've got a brush of rabbit. And the reason I do it like this is because this is a pretty small fly. I don't want a whole bunch of bulk by the head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here. If I could get my dubbing loop to cooperate. I'm going to come back here and give it one to two full... Uh, full turns and then I'm going to come up on the underside of the fly and then give it a few turns in front. You don't need to crisscross in between the eyes because the rabbit's dense enough that it will just cover it up with those front wraps that I did. So I'm going to cut it off. Now I'll moisten down my fingers and pull those fibers out of the way and create a nice neat head. Red got all ski wampus on me. All right, so just one good whip finish, and then uh, I like to use this Loon water-based cement. Doesn't have any scent to it, which is important for carp.
All right, so just a little bit of uh, cement, and then you've got a nice little uh, sculpinish bait fish pattern. You know that's light enough to fish in the, the flats for carp. Um, you could even fish this for trout. And then uh, one thing I like to watch is, you know, if the tail starts to to foul too much around the hook, I'll shorten it up a little bit. But anyway, uh, give this pattern a try. Go fish it for fish that eat bait fish and sculpins.